And there were lots of philosophers there. It mentions in the chapter there were Stoics and there were mm -hmm. Epicureans and, and Stoics believed that what is, you know, just the best thing to do is take life as it hits you and deaden your heart and be indifferent to everything, which mm -hmm. you turn it into blocks of stone. We don't, we, it's okay for Christians to cry at funerals, that's yeah. okay. Uh -huh. You don't have to deaden your heart and be, you know, like yes. you would an Indian, so Amen. to speak. Uh -huh. You don't have to be like that. You mm. can be human, you can cry, you can have emotions and yeah. have natural reactions to things. Jesus mm. cried. He that's wept, right, yes. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, it's okay to do that. Uh, Christianity does not dehumanize us. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. the Epicureans thought you just live for pleasure. Oh. And mm -hmm. uh, that was their philosophy. But everybody had their own philosophy. Mm -hmm. philosophy. <laughs> and uh, Jesus or Paul, when he was on Mars Hill, uh, what he actually did was he adapted himself to his audience. He mm -hmm. didn't even quote any scripture because uh -huh. he knew that phlo Greek philosophers didn't believe in the scripture. Mm -hmm. So you know he just gave basically he talked about uh, the, the, the God's relationship to His creation mm -hmm. and and, and uh, that sort of thing. And then at, at the end he said that he he raised a man from the dead. <laughs> He appointed a yes. day in which he would judge the world by that man whom he ordained, mm -hmm. and then given all men assurance in that he raised him from the dead. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So uh, that's that's now you know getting back to the marks of truth mm -hmm. uh, that one mark of truth is it exalts Christ uh -huh. and increases our faith in Him by doing mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another mark of truth is that it makes people hate sin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and strive against it mm -hmm. or repent and strive against sin and boy this does you know this truth yeah. of the judgment mm -hmm. by jesus christ will make men hate sin and mm -hmm. want to strive against it uh -huh. you know any doctrine that minimizes sin uh well that's just not true it's mm -hmm. you know, sin is mm -hmm. serious and it's our, it's something that we still strive against. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, now the kind of thing that Paul was talking about in Romans mm -hmm. seven was an inner struggle. Yes. I mean, he didn't have problems with bad outward sins, adultery, and things like that. As a Pharisee, he was above that. Yeah. Uh -huh. but it's the inner struggles. Yes. Amen. You know, he says, "I have not known lust, uh -huh. except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet.'" And that was the one that got him. Yeah. You know that uh -huh. even Amen. you know inordinate desires that, that this would be sin and uh, uh, but it, it makes so you know we're Paul in Romans 7 talks about that sort of thing but then it's not by accident that Romans 8 follows Romans mm, 7 yeah when you got when you have the Holy Spirit and you go through Romans 7 to experience you're ready for Romans 8 amen, amen. you are ready to hear about the grace of God yes. and God's rule and his, amen. And his, amen. his sovereignty Mm -hmm. You're ready to hear about how the, if God be for us, who can be against us? You're yeah. ready for that yes. once you go through Romans 7. But, uh, so the second thing is that it makes men hate sin and strive against it. Mm -hmm. And the third thing, I mean, you can't appreciate a Savior unless you're aware of sin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you've got to see that you need a Savior. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and then another third mark of, of uh, truth is that it's simple but profound. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this text that I just uh, quoted... Uh, it's simple. He's going to come one time. He's point a day, one Amen. day, Amen. in which he will judge the world in uh -huh. righteousness uh -huh. yeah. by that man whom he hath ordained. And that's Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get to the, how befitting that is because he was a man. Yes. Mm -hmm. He understands what it's like to be down here. He lived down here. Amen. He knows what it's like to struggle and sweat and mm -hmm. be tired. And, and go through all the things that we go through. He said he tempted at all points like as we are, yet without sin. Amen. Amen. So he died for our sin. He yes. kept the law perfectly for us that turned around and paid its penalty. So the law can't condemn us. It doesn't have anything to say to us. Yes, amen. He kept it and he paid its penalty. Mm. He, and so he kept it perfectly. Perfectly. If you want to find perfection, you won't find it in yourself. Yeah, that's right. You find it in Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. So what we do is we lean on Christ as our Savior, trust in His blood to cover our sins. Yes, amen. amen. And then we still do our best to, to yes. please Him and live for Him and, uh -huh. Him and strive against sin. And uh, this truth of God's judgment will help us to do just exactly that. Mm -hmm. uh, then... Uh, 
I, I like the, I just love the way Paul handles this. He, did, he does it so well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, he is appointed a day. That's another translation says he has fixed a day. William says he has set a day. A day, like I said, not several days. There's going to be one resurrection, one second coming, uh -huh. one judgment. It's going to be a long day. Yeah. Get everybody in. <laughs> That's right. It's going to be a long day, but it's, it's a day. Amen. It's all going to happen at one time. Amen. And uh, the day of judgment will also determine the degrees of reward for the righteous that have suffered for his name. Some suffer more, some suffer less. Incidentally, God has so well designed it. If you have a strong faith, mm -hmm. your light's going to shine brighter. You get more retaliation from the world. Uh -huh. If your faith isn't quite as strong, your light doesn't shine quite as bright. You'll still get some, but it won't be as severe, likely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But see, in other words, there's a regulator there. Yeah. Strong faith can provoke strong persecution. Mm -hmm. Weaker faith, well, you probably won't provoke as much, but you'll get some, but mm -hmm. you'll be able to handle it. You yeah. know, God knows uh -huh. how much take. That's right. And uh, so there's a regulator in there mm. and uh, that's just kind of the way it works. Um, mm -hmm. And there are going to be degrees then of reward and degrees of punishment. Mm -hmm. um, that, uh, you know, those that have sinned against the greatest life will get the worst punishment. Yes. Those that, that were against Christ when he came down here and shined the great light by his great teaching mm -hmm. and his spiritual applications of the law and many other things talked about eternity more than anybody else. He talked about heaven more than anybody. He talked about hell more than anybody else. Yes, uh -huh. and, uh, and he had great compassion and, mm -hmm. and worked miracles and raised the dead. There's no doubt that this was a God-man. This yeah, was amen. God manifest in the flesh. Truly yeah. God, truly man. Amen. That God, man, that, that here he bro God broke into human history and this was definitely his son. And he said... Uh -huh. At one point, it will be more tolerable in the Day of Judgment for Sodom and Gomorrah than for Capernaum or mm -hmm. Bethsaida. Because they, if, if they had seen this kind of light, you know, they would have repented yeah. long ago and sat cloth and ashes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it will be a righteous judgment in terms of how much light yes, people have had. You know, mm -hmm. the, those with less light, not so bad, you know. Uh, as a, Comparatively speaking, I say it's yeah. going to be bad, but... But the point is that the more light, the more responsibility. I mean, this is, Jesus himself put it this way in Matthew. He, uh, he said that uh, the servant that knew his Lord's will and did it not will be beaten with many stripes. So the one that didn't know will be beaten with few stripes. Uh -huh. And so a lot of it has to do with light and living up to the light you have as best you can with his grace and constant help. Without mm -hmm. you just to ourselves, we'd fall flat. And we'd yes, amen. That we'd never get up. But uh, uh, but everything you do, it's going to be him working in you to will and to do of his own good pleasure, or else you're not going to get it done. Yeah, you, yeah. Have to, you have to do it by the power of the Spirit. It's the way Jesus did it. He was yeah. full of yes. the Spirit. And he did. Uh -huh. He cast out devils by the Spirit. But uh, hypocrites will be exposed on that day, and all the play actors and pretenders yeah. will be exposed. All false teachers will be exposed and punished. The secrets of the heart will be exposed, wrong motives, uh, all lies, all cheats. Uh, you know, everything is going to be laid open and, uh, and judged. And uh, when I think about this, I think I preach as a slowly dying man to slowly dying people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're all going to die. Uh -huh. and I'm, I'm not going to get into Brother Heath's. Uh, part of it, um, but uh, he's going to touch on that. Mm -hmm. But the point is, this thing of judgment men, I I'll tell you, a lot of men that that don't have much light do have this much light that there's going to be a day of judgment. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, A lot of men, because God did put eternity in their hearts. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, actually, the day of judgment, justice God is a God of justice, and everything He does is right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I think it's best to take a positive view of this day of judgment, yes. because justice is good. Yes, and amen. When, and when you read in Psalm 96 um, about the trees clapping their hands for joy, for He cometh to judge the earth. Uh -huh. yeah. This is a good thing. Amen. amen. Justice is good. Justice is necessary. And uh, there's a, you know... 
And in James 3, verses 1 and 2, it intimates that, that preachers will be judged more strictly uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, they have had more light and, yes. and more responsibility. And there will still be some on the last day there in Matthew chapter 7, uh, Jesus said, many will come to me in my day and say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in mm -hmm. thy name cast out devils, and thy name done many wonderful works. And you'll say, depart from me, I never knew. That's never. right, that's right. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, so uh, he didn't say, I forgot you. He said, I never knew. <laughs> that's right. So they were doing all of it in the flesh to mm -hmm. their own glory. Yes. yes. And so, you know, it, there, were, there were workers of iniquity, actually, self-exaltation. Amen. Amen. It was. And uh, so, but a person, one of the biggest objections to Christianity is this question, how can a loving, powerful mm -hmm. God allow sin and suffering? Mm -hmm. That's one of the big objections. That's mm -hmm. probably the number one objection mm -hmm. to Christianity. How can a loving, powerful God, if He's loving, you know, and powerful, mm -hmm. how can he do this? Because it looks like if he was powerful, he'd just put a stop to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, is he powerful and not loving? Or is he loving and not powerful? Why doesn't he put a stop to all the suffering? And the answer is right here. He will. Yes. This is to matter out in the future. That's you know, right. Yep. You know, when Christ mm -hmm. returns, he's going to do away with all the... There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth with no sin in it. Mm -hmm. Because it says, where, in 2 Peter 3 says, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Mm. Amen. And that's you. That's right. Yep. We're, we're going to be made in resurrected bodies completely righteous experientially. Right now, uh -huh. we have a justified righteousness that's legal. Yeah. But in that Amen. day, with the resurrected body, we're also going to have what we always hungered and thirsted for. Yes. We hunger and thirst after righteousness. Mm -hmm. and, and we wait for the hope of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And and that's when we will have it experientially 100%. Amen. And in that new heaven and new earth, there's not going to be anything that hurts or destroys. Mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be so great. That's a whole sermon in itself. Mm -hmm. the, the joy of fellowship with God and, mm -hmm. and knowing more about God and drinking straight from that mm. beatific vision, that fountain of life that comes from the throne of mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. the, the fellowship, it's going to be so great that we'll serve Him without any more encumbrances of the yeah. flesh. You know, uh, we won't have any more frustration yeah, wishing yeah, yeah. we could do this or that for Him uh -huh. and being frustrated. We won't have that. Amen. And uh, Amen. so I'm saying that uh, He will do it. So why doesn't He do it right now? Well, why? <sighs> Who is, who is man to question God? Amen. God's, his timing or His purpose. Yes. He has a purpose. And mm. right now, what He's doing is preparing men for this through the church. Mm. Amen. So, you Amen. know, the, the best way to look at it is, let's all just believe in Jesus and look forward to this. And, 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 and you know, and, and uh, yes. perfect holiness and Amen. the fear of God. And, and strive against sin. Let's just do that. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> And get ourselves ready for it. Yes. Now, as far as the timing, that's in His sovereign purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, even Jesus says He didn't know when yes. He was going to return. Mm -hmm. Now, much, you know, and uh, so men should not be questioning, well, I think you should do it right now. Well, baloney, go away. Go <laughs> <Amen. Don't> home. <laughs> and this, it's, uh, who cares what you think? Uh, Amen. God is on the throne. He has, yes. He has His purpose. He yep. has His timing. Yep. He knows what He's doing. That's right. And uh, man, man is so presumptuous to say, well, God, if you need any help, run the universe. I'm right here to answer your questions if you need any help. Yep. Uh, <laughs> David, oh man, who art thou that replies yes. against God? Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, shall the thing form say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Uh -huh. uh, Amen. So, uh, God has a purpose and a plan, and right now, He's preparing us for that eternal kingdom, that eternal new heaven and new earth, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's just, uh, that's just the way, He's 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 on the throne, He's God. He, uh -huh. he has the last word. And, uh, but uh, I want to, the, 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 another reason for the Day of Judgment being the way it's going to be is it's going to 
evidence to every man mm -hmm. that God is right. Yeah, amen. amen. And he did everything right. Yes. There amen. are men that question him uh -huh. and think, well, that's not fair. They'll say there's unrighteousness uh -huh. with God. On the day of judgment, nobody's going to say that. Amen. amen. Nobody's going to say that. Yes. And uh, uh, it's my humble opinion that one of the first things will be God will demonstrate exactly how righteous Christ was. Uh -huh. And everybody's going to see that he's qualified to judge everybody. Amen. Everything he did was perfect. And all the fools that challenged him down here on the earth are going to really look foolish. Mm -hmm. And the one that smote him and said, prophesy when he was blindfolded. Mm -hmm. Who smote thee? Yes. He's going to say, thou art the man. Amen. 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 You know, Amen. he's... he's, he's all of his enemies are going to just look as stupid as they really are. Amen. They're going to be manifested for how stupid they are. Yes. And then Christ will sit down and judge the world. And I think he's... And I won't go into all the details. I have my opinions on how this could work out. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I just will... I'll, 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 I'll not go to that right now. But... Uh, he will judge the world and he will do part of it through us because it says we shall judge the world. Yes, amen. And we shall judge angels. Uh huh. That should take our breath. Yeah. Judge angels. That's right. That's what Paul said to the Corinthians. Uh huh. Uh, you shall judge angels. Well, it is perfectly possible and not only possible but compatible and in Psalm 147 11 has this, this is a great verse. Let me just read this one. It says, The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear Him. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. you know, that the day of judgment will strike fear. To yes. Mm -hmm. That fear Him in those that hope mm -hmm. in His mercy. Amen. Yeah, amen. Yeah, amen. It's all in one line. You know? <laughs> So there's room for godly fear and, uh -huh. and awe and respect. Mm -hmm. And there's also room for hoping in His mercy. Amen. All in one breath. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have a balance between fear uh -huh. and hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, if all you had was just you know, fear and nothing else, you wouldn't have any hope. And mm -hmm. that would not be healthy. Mm -hmm. And also, if you had... In other words, we have to... It has to be balanced both yes. ways. You have to have hope or else you despair and give up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it says in, in Romans 11, Behold the goodness and the severity yes. of God. Yeah. You know, you, you mm -hmm. have to see them both. Yes. There's room for both in the godly heart, and they coexist in balance. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God is going to be justified. It, it'll, be, it'll be seen mm -hmm. uh, that uh, all that He has ever done is right and holy yes. and good. All of his works are in righteousness. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Amen. don't let the truth of the day of judgment put you back under the law for justification. No. Yeah. We're, yeah. Under, we're under the new covenant. Amen. Christ, Christ is our covenant. And so uh -huh. we trust in his blood to cover our sins. Amen. And we strive for holiness. Uh -huh. And in righteousness we do both. That's light. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the foundation of God stands sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are His. Yes. And let everyone that names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Amen. So that's that's light. It's like uh -huh. He said to the woman, uh, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. That's, that's right. a lot of light right there. Just yes. a few words. Amen. I don't condemn you. Go and sin no more. And when you see your justification, that gives you the encouragement to run the race and yes. fight the battle yeah. and, uh, and sin no more. Mm. Well, in Romans 2, he says, it speaks of the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who shall render to every man according to his deeds. And in John 12, here, this is, this is a good one. Oh, they're all good, but this is especially good. Uh, John 12, 48. He that, Jesus said this, this is in the red print. Uh -huh. He that rejecteth me, Jesus said, and receiveth not my words. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing as rejecting him. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, hath one that judgeth him the word that I have spoken, mm -hmm. the same shall judge him in the last 
day. Mm -hmm. Well, that tells us to pay especially close attention when you see the red print in yeah. the Bible. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says in Psalm 96, He shall judge the world, everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also find uh, texts like, He cometh to judge the earth, Psalm 96. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> let me just give uh, one or two other verses in general. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 17, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. Ecclesiastes 12, 14, God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Amen. And uh, there's much more. There's just tons of these. But uh, also, uh, I think, uh, here's another good one, uh, where we read in, uh, if I get into that, I, that's already been covered by my other brethren. They did very good on on uh, Satan when he says, I will exalt my throne above the stars of mm -hmm. God. That's where sin entered the universe, mm -hmm. right there. But I won't go into that because another brother has already done a good job covering that. Um, but he will judge the world in righteousness. And uh, the dead will be raised in one general mm -hmm. resurrection. Of John 5, 28 and 29. The hour is coming mm -hmm. in the which all that are in the graves, that be the righteous and the wicked, shall hear his voice yes. and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they mm. have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Yeah. It's simple but profound. Amen. Everything Jesus did yes. was both simple and profound. Mm -hmm. Take his virgin birth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Simple but profound. Yes. And take his death. Simple but profound. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. take his resurrection. Simple yeah. but profound. Uh -huh. Take his ascension into heaven. Uh -huh. Simple but profound. Mm -hmm. Second coming, it's the same way. Mm -hmm. Simple but profound. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, now modern theories of it make it complicated. That's right, yes. They make it sound like a complicated puzzle to make you scratch your head and think, yeah. I'll never understand this. Yeah. Well, that's just what Satan wants us to do. Scratch yes. your head and back away. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. But it's simple but profound and it promotes holiness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You know? Amen. We aren't going to get a second chance in the Great Tribulation. Yeah. No, we aren't. Yeah. No. That's right. Um, Amen. Well, shall not the judge of all the earth do right? Of course he will. Of Amen. course he will. Amen. He'll do right and everybody will see it. Yes. Uh, by that man, Jesus is the perfect judge because he was the perfect man. Mm -hmm. And a judge has to be somebody that's authorized. Jesus is authorized. He has to mm -hmm. have all the facts. Jesus has all the facts. Mm -hmm. And, he, and he's, he's authorized. He has all the facts. He's, he's a perfect judge. Yes. Everything is just the way it should be. Yes. Jesus spent 90% of his life preparing for the last 10%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last three years. Here's another verse that is really promotes holiness. Matthew 12, 36 and 37. But I, Jesus, say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Amen. Mm -hmm. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be Condemned. Amen. 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 Well, that should make us be very good stewards of our words. Amen. Yes. And, you know, every time we criticize anybody, uh, they say when you point a finger at somebody, three more fingers are pointing back at you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Think about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, but think about the good side of that. Mm -hmm. and we have, we have made the good confession. Mm -hmm. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's going to be brought up. Yes. Uh, Amen. Yeah. Amen. You see? Amen. Look at the bright side mm. of, of that. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be judged by our deeds. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, every day there are going to be a lot of housewives that are going to they were just humbly doing their housework as mm -hmm. under the Lord. Yes. And they're going to have high positions in yes. heaven. Uh -huh. And they think, well, I, I wasn't a preacher or anything, so uh -huh. what I did really wasn't important. I was just doing housework mm -hmm. as under the Lord. 
just doing housework is under the Lord. Yeah. Hey, if it's under the Lord, you're going to be rewarded. It says there in Colossians 3, uh -huh. you serve the Lord Christ. Yeah, that's right. And that yeah, was written yeah. to a slave. So if a slave was told, servant in the King James is doulos in the Greek, which means slave. So uh -huh. if a slave's digging a ditch is under the Lord, yes. he's going to, he's serving the Lord Christ. Amen. Amen. And he's going to be rewarded. Heaven, yes. He should receive the reward of the inheritance. Hmm. So that means you can serve. We're all full-time servants. We yes. all serve God, Amen. no matter what we are. Amen. But you're baker or candlestick mm. maker. And, uh, and uh, so, you know, there's going to, in the day of judgment, many that are first shall be last, and many that are last shall be first. Uh -huh. right? Because just think how many volunteers there are out there in the kingdom of mm. God. Think of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, yeah, there are people that... Uh, I don't know who's going to sit his right hand or his left hand, uh, but there's going to be people in high positions that nobody suspected in this life mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. they would be in high positions in the world to come. And it'll be humble people that maybe we've never heard of. And uh, like I said, doing humble everyday task is unto the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And uh, if the day of judgment is going to be good. And we can, like I said, have assurance about our salvation mm -hmm. in, in, in view of the day of judgment. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, in Hebrews 10.22, it says, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Mm -hmm. And that's Amen. in view of the day of judgment. We can still have full assurance of faith. Amen. Amen. And then in, Col in Colossians 2.2, 2, it says that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding. And in Hebrews 6, 11, it speaks of the full assurance of hope. And the more understanding we have, the more hope we have, and the more assurance we have. Mm -hmm. Amen. In 1 John 5, 13, These things have I written unto you that believe in the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, mm -hmm. and that ye may believe mm -hmm. on the name of the Son of God. In Romans 8, 1, there is therefore now no condemnation, no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Uh, amen. That's a wonderful thing to, to commit to memory. Mm -hmm. Now, on the day of judgment, there are going to be certain things that are going to be more precious to us than ever before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you a few of them, just three mm -hmm. or four. First of all, the precious blood of Christ. Amen. 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 1 Peter 1.19 that, uh, you know, where it talks about the precious, but we're not redeemed with corruptible things of silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. When the Israelites were hiding behind the doorpost with the blood, on yes. it, and they could hear the cries of those on the outside that were not under the blood, mm -hmm. and, and their, that blood was precious. Mm -hmm. At that moment, that blood was really precious Amen. to them. Amen. 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 And uh, like precious faith, as mentioned in 2 Peter 1.1, 1, 1, uh, like precious faith, we're justified by that faith. Yes, Romans amen. 1, 1. Mm -hmm. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God mm -hmm. through our Lord Jesus Christ. And the precious promises, mm -hmm. we have exceeding great and precious promises. And uh, those are going to be especially precious. Amen. And uh, Christ himself, Above all, unto you, therefore, which believe, mm -hmm. he is precious. Amen. 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 So, thus, and now, he's given assurance to all men that he rose Christ from the dead. That showed he was the Son of God. Romans 1, 4. He's declared to be the Son of God with power by the resurrection of the dead. Mm -hmm. It showed he was 100% innocent. Mm. It showed he was perfect, and it showed that everything he said was true, mm -hmm. and it showed that he was ordained of God to judge the world, and will have that done. Uh, through, part of it will be through us. How I don't know all the details. Mm -hmm. I don't need to know. If, if, he, if I needed to know, he just showed it to me. That's right, yes. And so we just learn to stick with the word and what he doesn't say. Amen. So speak on, we'll Amen. be silent. Amen. And that's Amen. all I have Amen. to say on that. Um, do any brother, any 